Good morning, students. Today is Wednesday, October 13th, 2010, and you're watching Lion TV Jumpstart. I'm Corey Webb. And I'm Kayla Ham. On today's show, we will travel to Carlsbad, California to take a close look at an elementary school that had a tragic incident occur recently. Next up, we've got Jordan Morris with sports and Cody Johnson with your local weather. And we're back. Now for the question of the day. Your question is, what animal has no vocal cords? Is it A, pigs, B, giraffes, C, turtles, or D, elephants? I think it's probably giraffes. You know, they're so tall. How could they have vocal cords that long? I don't know. That's pretty cool. Stay tuned to find out. Carlsbad, California, located on the southern coast, experienced a horrifying incident that occurred at a local elementary school. Courtesy of Carlsbad High School Broadcasting Program, here's Andrew Allen and Jordan Brunn with further information. On Friday, October 7th, Kelly Elementary School students witnessed a disaster that would change their lives forever. As the horrifying sight began to unfold, eyewitness Terry Lynn tells us how he reacted as the man was firing a 357 Magnum handgun towards the kids. When I went outside and I saw my neighbor getting ready to come down to him, I said, wait a minute, I'm going to grab my gun. He said, no. The police won't know who you are, you won't know, and I said, oh, yes, you're absolutely right. We received a phone call regarding a male with a weapon shooting into the school ground area. Thankfully, two construction workers by the names of Carlos Partida and Mario Contreras managed to subdue the suspect. Today, for the students and the teachers at Kelly Elementary School and, the par and their parents, probably the worst that you can imagine to get a report that shots have been fired at your child's school. Now on Friday, October 7th, two little girls were shot in the outer extremities on this playground by a man named Brendan O'Rourke. Thankfully, neither of them are in life-threatening condition, but they did have to be life flooded to a hospital. Police closed down the school for a few days in order to gather evidence against the suspect. However, school should be in session by next week. At the end of the day, residents of Carlsbad, California were grateful that the situation wasn't as devastating as it could have been. Everyone was so brave that they, they, no one cared for their own lives. Reporting for CHS-TV Worldwide, I'm Andrew Allen. Thanks, guys. I hope everyone is recovering easily from the incident in Southern California. English Department will be taking orders for It's a Great Time to Be a Lion t-shirts. The cost is $12 upon ordering. The Searcy High School Race for the Cure bus will be leaving at 5.45 a.m. from the West Parking Lot this Saturday. Only students who have registered and paid for the race online and sign the bus list and return their permission slips will be allowed to ride the bus. The bus will be returning to the West parking lot around 11.30 the same day. Next up we have Jordan Morris with your Lion Sports. What's up Cersei I'm Jordan Morris here to do your Cersei Lion Sport announcements. There will be a ninth grade pep rally tomorrow. Woo! Go ninth graders! Fields of Faith is today. There will be a tailgate party at Lions Stadium starting 5.30 prior to the event. We'll, they will be serving free hamburgers and hot dogs. Fields of Faith is a student-to-student -student event where students share their faith, in, faith excuse me, in Christ through singing, worship, testimonies, and devotionals. I hope to see everyone there. The football team lost to West Memphis last Friday, 34-13. Last Friday night, the Lions came out in the first half fighting, playing against the West Memphis Blue Devils. Junior Desmond Stegall scored the first touchdown for Cersei in the first quarter. Quarterback Desmond Stegall throws the interception in the second half, giving the ball back to West Memphis, and they're returning it in Cersei's end zone for six. Although the Blue Devils was winning, the Lions did not give up and kept fighting to the very end. Junior quarterback Jared Ease hands the ball off to senior Mike Brown for Cersei's final touchdown. The Lions will be facing off against Jacksonville Red Devils Friday night. Looking for a win. Come out and support your Lions. Signing off for Lions to jump on. This is Henry Dim. Highlights of this week's game against Jacksonville will be featured on Hooton's Arkansas football TV show at 11 a.m. Saturday morning on Fox 16. Don't forget to tune in and support your Lions. 
Volleyball will host North Little Rock tomorrow at 5 p.m. Come out and support your Lady Lions. That is it for sports. You guys have a great day. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Jordan. Youth to Youth will meet tomorrow at 7.30 in room 114. There will be an FTA meeting this Friday at 7.30 a.m. in the cafeteria. The band participated in the Cabot Invitational Marching Band Contest last Saturday and earned first division ratings from all band judges. The drum majors, percussion line, and flag line all earned first division ratings as well. In addition to the band's superior ratings, the drum majors in the brass line and the percussion line were all named outstanding in their classification, and the band was named outstanding band in its classification. Congratulations on your great performance and thank you for representing Searcy High School in such a great way. Now here's Cody Johnson with your Searcy weather. Good morning, Searcy High School. My name is Cody Johnson, your Wednesday weather Mac coming at you for this weather. Let's hop over to the Almanac see what we got. Today, October 13th, 2010, we've got our high of 84 with our average of 78. Our record high of 93 sit way down there. 1947, of course, with our low of 47, average about 50, so not too far off, and our good low of 32 set in 1977. Of course, with that percentage of thunderstorms, let's hope over and see what we got for the statewide view. This morning, you will be experiencing Fayetteville 57, Fort Smith 56, Little Rock 57, Arkadelphia 58, Monticello 60. Jonesboro 55, and of course, Searcy with your temperature right now at about 58 with the thunderstorm chance coming in, so don't let that get your day down. Hop over to this five cast, all right? Wednesday, high of 84 with our low of 47 and a 50% chance of thunderstorms. May rain, may not. Good chance, though. All right, throughout the rest of the week, you're going to see sunshine, of course, with the highs up in the upper 70s and the lower 80s, and of course, the Lows way down there in the 40s. All right, let's hop over and see what we got for lunch. Beautiful ladies in the cafeteria have cooked up pepperoni with ranch dip, peaches, lime sherbet cup, and your choice of wonderful, delicious white or chocolate milk. Now, that's all I've got for you. Let's hop over to that wonderful news desk. Thanks, Cody. Now for the answer to the question of the day. What animal has no vocal cords? And your answer was B, giraffes. That's all we've got for you today on Line TV Jumpstart. I'm Corey Webb. And I'm Kayla Ham. Have a great day, Cersei High School. Put some deodorant on.